Hello everyone, it's your favorite FGC guide maker here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how the gift and bond system works in Street Fighter 6. So I'm pretty sure you guys have noticed that once you talk to your master that you actually have a option of gift giving, and you're not exactly sure how it works or how many points you get or how many different variants there are, and of course, what's their favorite gift. Well, I'm here to show you exactly how. So first off, I'll start by establishing there are three levels of gifts. There is level one, level two, and level three. Level one only gets you one point, and the way this works is you can give any character any gift that is obviously not their favorite and they'll only give you one point the dialogue doesn't make it very specifically clear they'll just say a generic line and go oh, okay whatever you have to actually kind of pay attention to the point system as you back out if it gives you one or two points very few characters will very actively tell you that it's something they don't like so that's level one right uh level two and by the way settling a bit on level one is it tends to be at least 50 percent of the items that you will ever acquire will go into that category so big advice if you there is a special looking gift or something that costs a lot do not just give it to anybody um i'll get into exactly how what who like Likes what but it'll be a huge waste if you give say someone their favorite item to someone else you know that normally would be five bond points for them it's only going to be one for someone else so be very careful about items you get if it's something you can get very easily or doesn't cost a lot feel free to give it to anybody and see what they like right but now number two is going to be level two right now level two items are things that they tend to like a bit more and if i were to give you guys a gift specifically there are two gifts that i could highly recommend that most of the cast will like and that'll be the fighters comic books have you guys have seen from my previous video uh you can get from this guy right here feel free to check out the video on how to grind this specific character and if you do it exactly you'll get a bunch of these comic books you could also buy it from this vendor here that's right at the start and it's fairly inexpensive and i'll also be getting into a short bit on how to grind zenny to get these guides as well but this is something that i highly recommend you guys get that and also prepaid cards you can get these by fighting the guy the merchant that's right by marissa and again if you followed my guide from beforehand you should actually have a couple of these on hand now there are very few characters that don't like these the first the one i mainly can think off the top of my head is lily lily only gives you one bond point for these things right but these are a safe bet to check out with the cast and i could also recommend if you want to get two bond points and say for example the third level bond uh, gift item is too hard to acquire or is just too much money you are better off say spending money i could do the math in a second probably now level three is obviously their favorite gift and that is what we'll get to the meat of this video that you guys can look up i shall have a list up fairly shortly and everybody has a favorite gift and you get five bond points for this one now, I first found this when I was with Luke, right? You can see it's the red elevator, and I found out because I know Luke, right? His personality, I know he plays video games. When I gave him the gift, but then I didn't realize it was a horror game, and I was like, oh, he doesn't like horror games. But you don't have to think that deep. As long as it's something that involves with them, you'll get it. Because a good example, Chun-Li, you give her a canned herring, and she actually dislikes the crap out of it. But for some reason, she still gives you five freaking points for whatever reason. And you can oddly get those fairly easy. That's an easy item to give gifting. I've yet to really run into a citrus perfume. So, and then of course for Marissa, you can give her a cold tomato soup. I'm not gonna like it, she's in it in Italy. I was like, man, maybe she'll like this. I was contemplating because you know it's tomato Italian, but I was like, oh, it's it's cold and it's not like real. And no, I actually guessed it right. But luckily for me, you know. And then of course celery chips for Lily. Lily's a bit of a pain. Uh, there's not a lot of things she likes. So with her, um, yeah, I definitely go with celery chips. Um, but like I said, if there are items that you have plentiful of, feel free to test them out and see what they do. Like, just do know that do not waste your effort on giving her um the fight book or the card and of course uh ken's best gift is a cookbook now let me get into a mini guide on how you can loop some of these gifts uh if you follow the guide from before you should obviously have a easy way to get the gift cards and the fight comic books you should by the way you should also be at least this far before you contemplate um grinding for bond points and that's when you get to the tournament part and then you should unlock at least all the regions which is jamaica mexico italy and of course uh metro city and you can go between these, right? If you follow the guide from before, what you'll do now is you will first go to Marissa, fight the people, and well, first get your me again. If you guys know the last guide, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You'll already get some gifts. Go to Brazil, fight these people, and make sure you follow the conditions so you can get a Blanca doll and a lukewarm beer. That's already two favorite gifts, one for Blanca and one for DJ. Boom, done. And then you go to Jamaica, go fight these people here and a good number of them should provide you with other gifts more primarily second favorite best gift for dj is actually this bison energy drink so there you go that's an easy easy way to level up with dj but you'll tend to find that the favorite gifts for these characters will always be in the area that well from what little i've noticed early on that they're in just grinding those items i was able to get within not even like five minutes like bond level as you guys can see i'll some pictures here but now for the final guide if you guys are truly trying to grind out money is do the fun side quest like 
the Hado pizza, and of course the boards. But before you do that, do this quest right here. Go to this guy. He will tell you to go find someone else so you can get a delivery service. Go find him right here. He's right by the Hido pizza mini game. And then you just talk to him and whatever. Then go back to the guy from before. And then before you know it, you can now start ordering certain foods. And one of them, get this specific food that makes it so you get bonus money when you do these fun side mini games. Now, also fun note, before you do do that, fight the dudes at the stand, uh, the one from the beginning of the game. And of course, right here at the Hado pizza, give you actually extra money just for fighting them. So fight them first. Uh, if you want, go fight the dude from the main area because that's what you'll spawn after you're going through the areas, right? Go there, fight him, go to Hado Pizza, fight the guy, then get on your iPhone, order that food, and then go play the mini game. Preferably try to play on the hardest difficulty or normal if you struggle. And then you will notice there is a difference. Here is how much money I get beforehand and I actually do a perfect run. And then here it is after with the bonus applied and I actually messed up. Notice how I get pretty much either about the same as much money or more for doing that objective. Also feel free to do other ones because it can get boring doing the same thing over and over again. But yeah, this is a great way to grind that money and then go use that money to go buy just loads of that gift at that merchant from earlier before because you can only grind Captain Capcom for so long, right? And of course, so you can have extra money so you can go buy gifts. And a good example, like one of them, I believe by Marissa, actually has the best gift for E Honda and Bear. But yeah, that's it. And I'll put up the list again. Here's the gift guide. Uh, their favorites getting some of these gifts can be a bit of a pain. But like I said, generally most of the cast will like either the gift card or the fighting booklet and yeah there you go of course feel free to experiment and see other get gifts that you can get fairly easy and see if you can get two bond points it doesn't take that long with this i mean i got luke easily to 100 bond in not even 10 15 minutes honestly so it shouldn't take you more than 30 minutes if you started fresh with any character to get their bond up and yeah that's it that should be the guide for how the gifting works in this game and how to level up your bond to 100 percent uh feel free to stick around we have fgc dojo for anyone that's new come join the club and the dojo on Street Fighter 6. And of course, join the channel where we have more guides like this and other advice on how to play Street Fighter 6. And feel free to join us live on Twitch and YouTube when I stream if you want live advice on how to do certain things or how to get better in the game. And thank you, everyone. And hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next guide. Peace.